This video is covering ATP and ADP, and it's just rapid revision. This video is made because some students find it a bit tricky when they're asked to write something on ATP and ADP. So this video is to help you out. So ATP, its full name is adenosine triphosphate. So that would be one of the first things you write down, its full name, adenosine triphosphate. And it's a nucleotide. A nucleotide is just a type of molecule that contains a nitrogen-containing base, a 5-carbon sugar and at least one phosphate. In the case of ATP, it has a nitrogen-containing base called adenine, very important. It has a 5-carbon sugar called ribose and it has three phosphate groups. So when you look at the structure of ATP, you can see that it has the nitrogen containing base, adenine, it has the 5-carbon sugar, ribose, and it has those three phosphate groups. From the diagram, you can see that that third phosphate is attached with an unstable bond. So this bond is very unstable and is easily broken. And when it's broken, it releases energy. And that is the key to ATP. It's very important that you know the role of ATP, what it's used for. ATP is an energy carrier. State that. ATP has a special role in trapping and transferring energy. ATP stores energy in chemical form, but not for long, and it's a source of chemical energy for metabolic reactions. How do you make ATP? This is so important and these two equations are essential. So when you're making ATP, you start with adenosine diphosphate and you're going to add that third phosphate on. But to do this, you have to input energy and this results in the formation of an ATP molecule and water. So remember, adenosine diphosphate is ADP. So how is energy released from ATP? It's all to do with breaking that unstable bond. When you break that bond, you release the energy. So you start off with adenosine triphosphate, you add a water molecule, and this results in that bond being broken. So you're left with adenosine diphosphate, that phosphate on its own, and the energy being released. So all of this is important. Know the role and the structure.